Welcome back to Sport 3 to our watch along of Car One. Team. If you're seeing this on YouTube, just like the other two parts, if you haven't seen the other two parts, because you'll watch the other two parts. Uh, very cut up version. Um, because of copyright reasons, if you'd like to see the full uncut version, so you can over to Patreon. I'll put links to pull up and oh, so you can go check that out. And at the end of this part, we will talk about the movie and review it. No. Maybe. And so uh, let's just get into this, huh? Let's go. Back into this. Because we're almost done with the film. Haven't we haven't started yet? Here we go. Report लिखा नहीं आई है. Report. अरे वो शहनाई वाला जितना रूहानी दिखता ना है नहीं. बोल रही है मारता है बहुत. Oh. Oh. हमारे साथ आ रही है. मैं भगा रहा हूँ इनको. तो शक्कर था मैं सब कोई legal काम नहीं कर रही. यार पूरे South India में लाश उड़ी है. मजबूर लड़की की मदद करना illegal है. खाली दिल से ना बेरु जिस्म बेहतर है. I don't know what that means. That means गाड़ी start कर. अरे दुनिया खराब है जमाना तो ऐसी बदनाम है मेरी अम्मी की गलती मत दोरा अभी बताता हूँ समझाता हूँ That's nice अभी बोल के रिहा हो जाओ सुनिए जी बोलो I divorce you I divorce you I divorce you तलाक 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 बगा It's legal Three times Yeah but Depending on where you are in the world, it's only the man who can do that. All they have to do is say, I divorce you, I divorce you, I divorce you, and it's done. Three times. Three times. Oh, wow. Well, I didn't know that. Funny, he's so against editing pictures and, like, filters. But the entire movie is color corrected. <laughs> I think that's why he gave her the line about, take these photos and I'll show you how to color correct. Justification. Color correction is not the same as doing filters. <laughs> it's not dissimilar, though. It's true. <laughs> it's true. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 This guy's still yelling. Quit. Yes, because that's protocol. So where the hell are they? Listen, I have given you a lot of chances for my dad. But this is just impossible. I mean, you decide that you have to keep this job or not. No. I'm sorry? No, I don't have to do this job. I quit. And you complain about the network speed. It's because you have to check the office out in the day. Dude. 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 Did you see the sign? Uh, I hate that he's gone. Oh, you're fun. Just hate it. Earphones. Wife. Yes. Beside him. No, she's not in the burqa anymore. No. Because he's he's Muslim, but he's not Orthodox. Mm. Shabash. Hey, I had heard that this was a feel-good movie. And it's definitely a feel-good movie. And yeah. it's it, it gives you rom-com vibes, but it's very not really a rom-com. No, but it feels very rom-com. I mean, rom-coms are supposed to give you the feels. Supposed to be like love is there, but this film, I think, smartly more focused on, uh, even though love was focused on for various different people, and you thought certain people might end up together. That's not it wasn't really the focus. Yeah, and I'm of I'm kind of glad they didn't do that. Yeah. It made it more believable. It was less predictable. It's just so well written. Yeah, the um, so well written. It was, uh, and I'm sorry, and so well cast. This would have been the first year of the channel, correct? Twenty eighteen. Yeah, before we started doing Indian content. So uh, September of 2018 19. was when we started the channel, but it was January of 2019 we did Gully Boy. And yeah. then... Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So that's but why it could have easily been in the first year, obviously, because... Because I, th I thought we would have seen it, but that probably would have been in 2019 um, in that year. But, yeah, that was... Um, what a lovely, lovely feel-good movie. Yeah. It gave you, did it get you there in the end? In the right way. I mean, yeah. I wasn't overly connected. To mo I didn't become 
uh, you know, your eyes water. I wasn't bit. crying, but it got it hit me in the feels a lot of times. Yeah, in the in the way a good a good rom com is gonna do that for you. You walk away feeling good. You want to rewatch it. it. Everybody was uniformly great. Shout out to uh, Karen Mali and Nandini Shrikant for their casting. I thought the composers Anurag Salkia and Rajat Tiwari did a score. great job with the score, and ultimately. It all falls on Akash Kurana, who did a, a, just a wonderful job with with the direction, writing, everything. It's just, it's a really, really good movie. Yeah, it's been on the list for a long time. Uh, so I'm glad we finally got to it and when we got to another earphone film. I like the log line. It doesn't give a thing away. Uh, two friends, a tribute. You take a road trip to film. I got you. Um, and this is a, basically a film about generational trauma. And hopefully breaking it. Uh, yeah, well. it's about it's a combination of finding yourself, but also finding healing from past pain. How much you? It's it's really crazy how much our parents and their decisions can affect us. Oh in yeah, life. great line when he's talking to them on the bridge about that, and he turns around and he just looks off and he says, "Man, he was so vile. Even now when he's gone, he hurts me." Yeah, <sighs> it's really crazy how much. Obviously, and that's why. The things you do as a parent are so important. Um, and it's obviously as a parent now, you have young kids. Obviously, there's many more things I'll have to go through as a parent <laughs> as they get older. But it's just it's such a it's almost nerve wracking at times because you you affect that kid's life, at least in the beginning and could the rest of their life more than more than anybody, anybody else. Because, and everybody's fallible, so uh, you it's not a matter of if you're going to screw up in some spots. Then, yeah. It's where will I screw up and how bad am I going to screw them up? Yeah. And you're just – you just trust that yeah. you're, you're, you're not going to. It's absolutely crazy. Yeah. Um, how much – and I had, I had great parents. Four sets, including my step-parents, are all absolutely fantastic. Um, but even then, you still have – Stuff that they did that you now realize, oh, that affected me quite a bit. Uh, oh, yeah. As an adult. Sure. Um, you, you reflect. And, and so when it's stuff that, like, you want to pursue this and your your parent is not supporting you in in that, which I'm sure is something a lot of Indians can relate to. Yeah. Especially something like this of, like, no, you need to do something that's going to bring you stable income because um, the parent thinks they're looking out for them. and. In a way, sure you are, but obviously that's not the only point of life is to yeah. make money. You've no. got to be happy. And it, it's so well written. In lesser hands, this still could have been a good movie that focused on some of the more stereotypical genre types of things in the storytelling. Uh -huh. But it, it took it – it wasn't just focused on Avinash as a self-discovery film. Pretty much everybody, even the smaller roles – had moments of self-discovery. When he goes and he talks with Rumi, it's predominantly for his self-discovery, but there's some closure that happens for that character who's on screen, what, six minutes? I mean, that's just great writing. So you've got her character, Dulker's character, Irfan's character, both of the ladies, they have, for as small as it was, they go through a process as well. His dad goes through a process, and we rarely ever see him on screen. Yeah, so just the beginning. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and it's, a, it's a believable process because if they had, you could have done what we thought. Like maybe he had some of his photography. But just the fact that he's in a place in his life where he recognizes, I think I was too hard on him, while he's going on a pilgrimage where you'd be in self-reflection and realizes, you know, I wanted to play piano, and I think I've I've kind of come down too hard on him. It was very believable, and that's yeah. a testament to the writing. Obviously, the character would have. <laughs> the, if, like, I had gotten that kind of letter, I would have been like, oh, so we're making excuses now, you fucking dick. <laughs> <laughs> Pessimist till the yeah. end. Oh, a, a thousand percent. My parents are lucky they didn't <laughs> screw me up like that. <laughs> I would have never. Corbin's, Corbin's tombstone is going to say, I told you I was sick. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, it's, I'm so lucky that my parents were like, good parents uh, and not like asses like a lot of people in like films oh my and stars stuff yes there's no way i would ever forgive them well i'm there's no way i'm thrilled because because i'm I, like i've seen who you really are right and i'm like and i don't believe people changed that much i believe they can um feel regretful for what they did but i don't believe they changed that much very pessimistic <laughs> you think yeah <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm very grateful for, I mean, I have it, I have issues with my mom and dad, but they're issues that we talked through and worked through. Yeah. My mom and I had a period where we weren't talking to one another for several that. years. Yeah. 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 And, and, but the thing I'm most thankful for is how much of my childhood has happy memories with both of them, even though they divorced and my dad was mentally ill. I, I have m only happy memories as a child predominantly with my parents. And it's a testament, not just to them in the regard for any kid, but the horror stories you hear about kids who grew up in Hollywood. Oh, yeah. It's very, very rare that they don't get screwed up growing up in the industry. Britney and I'm one of the one of the few who grew up here and did not get screwed up in the industry and didn't have stage parents. Um, uh, it, what a great show, movie! Show how good the movie is. We haven't even really talked about the th main three leads acting uh, in depth here. I love this performance by Irfan Shocker, Shocker of the Year. Yeah, uh, <laughs> what a surprise! Uh, but this is such a unique character, one of my favorite characters of his because yeah. of how quirky, quirky and, and, and different. also like in. If you're, I'm, I'm just like I said, there's many different actors that could play this and play it differently and play it wonderfully. Pankaj would be one. That, Nawaz modern, could do it. Modern day that yeah. would be good. But like this character, in the, especially in the beginning, has some, you could call them quirks, but they're also like, if they're not acted well or written well, you're just no. like, this person's just a fucking no. asshole. It requires a, a solid yeah. actor. The whole film and requires solid, solid actors. Yeah. Um, dude, because this guy has like these like, very, you could call them in a kind word, conservative uh, views on people and life in general. Um, but you still love him. <laughs> yeah, he's like so I said, endearing. like I said at that one point, I love the fact that both he and she were 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 written as believable, likable characters. Even though he, which is the truth of all people, even the most likable person, you'll find out some stuff about him, and you'll go, hmm. I don't know. I'm, that part about you is a little bit screwed up. Yeah. And that character's like that. Yeah. And uh, Irfan's Irfan. Irfan man. is. Irfan is Irfan. Uh, like I said at the beginning as well, he can, within 30 seconds, you see how great he is as an actor. And there's very few actors that do that, that immediate with their presence. And you yeah. pointed out yeah, you know, how much of that is his training and how much of that is just his God-given gift. It's Probably just as it's, much. It's of a combination a, of both. It's, it's probably a just as much of a mystery as nature versus nurture. Is yeah, it, it is. How much of it it's is talent just, and just God given gift? <laughs> it's why you don't get goats like that. You'll get great actors who mm -hmm. do a great job, but there's a little extra something special about the Irfans and the Merrills and the yeah. Daniel Day Lewis. It might just be like one of the it factors that you. Yeah, can't you just explain. can't explain it. Um, yeah, I'm not. But comparing. he's. he's I, I'm not comparing him to Johnny Depp, but Johnny Depp has a similar, like, the, he's just an endearing kind of person. So every role he has, you're like, oh, I find something very endearing about this character. And many actors have that. Um, like a lot of the stars, I think a lot of people just call it like an it factor or, or stuff like that. Um, but he he has it in droves, man. And he's just so talented a, of an actor. And his talent is the fact that he doesn't do a lot. He's we call it effortless because yeah. he doesn't. Even though he is, he's acting, and so he has his bag of tricks and he has all that kind of stuff. But like to act is to just be natural, and that's one of the hardest things for a lot of actors to do is just not do anything. Yeah, um, it takes it takes a long time to get there. Or some people just and some people can. It. Yeah, I can't wait for the day when we inevitably get a earphone con. Um, biopic and his son plays yeah, him. Yeah. There's nobody else that can play him. And also, uh, I for an introduction thing, even though he had prior experience, I think you're right, this is an he, introduction he to Hindi. He in the Malayalam Dulkar, industry for many, many yeah, years. Yeah, Dulkar just, he was just believable. Everybody was just believable in this. Yeah. And that's all you can ask. She was really, really nice. Um, a lot of the supporting characters were great. Were really nice. Casting was uniformly wonderful. I believed that's the one thing the highest compliment Andrani and I will give to any show or movie that we start watching, whether it's a new TV series or a film we're just watching, yeah. one of us will turn to the other and say, I believe him. Yeah. And that's all. That's it. And that's the pinnacle of acting, in, in our opinion, as it was Sanford Meisner said, it's living truthfully under imaginary circumstances. It's that truthfulness. It's the, and it's being believable. Do I believe you're feeling what you're feeling, thinking what you're thinking and doing what you're doing? Everybody was that in this yeah. film. Everything we've seen of Dolker. He's a solid actor. Um, uh, I think the most recent for us was 
guns and globs, right? Yeah. Um, he's he's just he's a very solid very actor, very man. Good actor. Yep. Um, <laughs> I wonder where he gets it from. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would love to see. Um, maybe he has some already. Obviously, I'm sure in Malayali. Um, really, where he like kind of like his dad's films, mm-hmm. of, like The Wall or like any any you know numerous things that Mamuts has done. Um, it, maybe he already has them, and you guys can let us know what they are. But obviously, he's in a, a different place, and it's a different time. Mm-hmm. So like he probably did a lot of these coming of age films because he's a young, good looking guy. Um, and then as you get older, you know, you get put in different kind of roles, obviously. Um, so maybe you can, guys can let us know. And her, she was wonderful as well. She was I, great. All, I think everybody except a few white people were really nice. And and the 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 mom, no the oh the office worker, well him. But I was talking about uh, Irfan's wife's husband. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he was really great too. I love his character. And uh, so was the guy at the funeral place. Yes, he was the guy wonderful. with the coffins. He I was great him. too. Um, it, the, just great casting. The doctor's wife. Fun movie. Uh, I thought it was really nice. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. We really enjoyed it. Um, thank you so much for because this has been on the list since the first year. Uh, I remember hearing about that when we started exploring Irfan. Yeah, and this was obviously a very new film. At the understandable, time. I would recommend it to folks. To say, hey, if you're going to be watching Irfan films, you need to. This has to be on the list. You know, it'd be good. Do a double feature of Piku and. Uh, yeah, that would be fun to do. You'd have back to back vans. Yeah, yeah. What would but, you do first, though? Well, uh, what I was introduced to. Piku's more hard hitting. So if you yeah, want to feel I would little... start with that and then lighten it with this. Yeah, Piku's not like crazy hard, and it does it no, does, but it's more at serious. The end, it does give you a nice feel, but this is a feel good film. I feel yeah, like. it's like, more serious. I, I would start Piku and then come into this and let you take a breath of fresh air afterwards. Yeah, and especially look at how different those two characters are. From yeah, but fun as well. Those are two films from me. When you know, say, hey, should I in the filmography? Don't miss. Uh, it's in there for me for your fun. Oh, easily. Yeah. Anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching with us. If you're seeing this on YouTube, you saw a very cut version because of copyright reasons. If you'd like to see the full uncut version, you can head to Patreon. I'll put a link in the description below, pinned comments. You can go check that out. Let us know what our next watch along should be. Let us know in the comments and what should be our next Dolker, Irfan, and uh, let me uh, know her name here. Uh, uh, Mithila Palker. Mithila Palker. Uh, <laughs> movies that we should watch. And uh, on to the next watch along. I suppose in the end, the whole of life becomes an act of letting go. But what always hurts the most is not taking a moment to say goodbye.